pumpkins are getting bigger and bigger. Whatever the case, you guys, I am the alternative Iglesias. I'm not Julio. I'm not Enrique. I'm Gabriel Iglesias. I'm the fluffy one. I say fluffy because that is the politically correct term. For those of you that don't know, there are five levels of fatness, and fluffy is one of the levels. That's right. There's big, healthy, husky, fluffy, and damn! I'm still number four. People go, how do you know when you're number five? Because people will tell you. You know, you try to get an elevator that's crowded and people stop you and go, mm-mm. Damn! If you go to Disneyland and little kids want to ride you. I want to get on that one. <laughs> Damn. Seriously, though, Iglesias, it's been a curse since I was a kid, you guys. And ladies, if that's what you want out of a man is the sexy guy, Go for it. But I'm going to warn you, in the long run, the pretty guy, he's going to lie to you, cheat on you, and break your heart. That's why you need to start giving fluffy guys a chance. <laughs> Seriously, because the worst thing we're going to do is have dinner without you. <laughs> do you want sexy or faithful? I don't know. <laughs> Oh my God, I gotta be careful, I know. That's kind of steep. If I fall, show's over. That would suck. There'd be people outside waiting. Of course, then you're live where authorities believe Fluffy lost control. Six people were seriously injured, four rushed to the hospital. Authorities had this to say. Damn! They'd interview people, ma'am, what happened? It got dark! Sir, what did you see? I know I mess around with the voices and stuff. People ask me, do you do that? You know, is that you or is that a special microphone? No, it's me. I'm a lot of fun, especially to my girlfriend, because, man, when we role play, I take it to the next level. Oh, yeah, man. Our favorite game to role play is White House, the 92 edition. I come home at 4 o'clock in the morning, right? She's like, who is it? I'm like, you know who it is. She's like, Señor, I don't speak English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So we got driven over here to the theater uh, by somebody who's here from Montreal, and it's kind of weird because they got lost, and I thought that was kind of strange. You know, set the GPS or something. Because I got one back home, and I use it for everything because I love the voice that it has. It's not like the old generic ones that go, a three-quarter tenth of a mile right turn. The one I have now sounds like a hot girl. No lie, I know where I'm going, but I still program her just to hear, you know. In three quarter tenths of a mile, left turn. Yeah! Oh yeah, man, I wish she would do more. Like if you were to do what she tells you to do, I wish she would verbally reward you. Like, if she says, make a left turn, and you make the left turn, I wish you would go, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right turn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> and I know I do the girl voice, you guys. It freaks people out sometimes. Uh, that's my favorite voice. Yeah. <laughs> right turn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and I know I do the girl voice, you guys. It freaks people out sometimes. Uh, that's my favorite voice. I love to do that at drive throughs <laughs> Oh, it's the best, you know. I'll pull up at 2 in the morning. <laughs> Back in the McDonald's, how can I help you? And I'll go, oh, my God, hi. <laughs> <laughs> can I have a number two with a larger fries and a shake? Oh, so sorry, not two, larger fries and a shake. Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> and I pull up to the window. They're not expecting Pikachu. Ah, uh -huh, man, I pull up. <laughs> the best is when the guy starts to look for the girl. Oh, that's priceless. I think he ate her, man. I just want to have a good time, that's all. And my brother, I love him. I have one brother, but he's giving me a hard time.
just want to have a good time, that's all. And my brother, I love him. I have one brother, but he's giving me a hard time. He's got these two kids living next door, obviously with their parents and stuff, but they're always messing with him. They're riding their bicycles in the street and going off the ramp and using his front lawn as the cushion. And he's telling me the story. These kids are messing me up. They're breaking my sprinkler heads and everything. I go, have you talked to them? They don't listen. So I tell him, I says, let me take care of your problem. He goes, go for it. Let's see what you got. Three days later, I get a phone call. I don't know how you did it, but these kids will not come nowhere near the house. The parents came over and they gave me $300 to fix the lawn and pay for the sprinklers. What did you say? I go, I didn't say anything. What'd you do? I can't tell you. Three days later, we go out for karaoke, and I got so drunk, you guys. I went, Whoa, what's new? Was the cat? Oh, I was gone. Ah, gone. <laughs> my brother goes, you're drunk, huh? I go, yeah, I'm drunk. How did you keep the kids away from my house? Okay, it's what I did. I passed up flyers to your neighbors that said that you were a registered sex offender. <laughs> Oh, you guys, I, this whole week I'm not drinking at all because if I get drunk, I don't want that story. I can't handle going international. Shoot, being in America is hard enough. I got thrown out of a Scottish bar and I was performing there. <laughs> but they were giving me free alcohol all night, right? And I started getting loud. Woo! Bartender goes, hey, buddy, you okay? You having a good time? I was so drunk, I did this. I'm having a great day. People around me, oh my God, are you Scottish? I was like, hey! What part of Scotland are you from? Uh, downtown. Are you here by yourself? Oh no, I'm not here by myself. Donkey! I love you guys.